been outside this afternoon. You know, it's been a bit gloomy to start off the work week. We've also been focused on that storm that's been coming up the southeast coast. We're talking about Debbie with the latest on that and the track is meteorologist Evan Stewart. Evan, what is the latest with Debbie? Well, the latest is Debbie is now a tropical storm. We got the 11 o'clock advisory about an hour ago, and now that the storm has made landfall, made landfall around 7 a.m. near Steenhatchee, Florida, in the Big Bend area. And now that it is over land, it has weakened a bit. Winds are now down to 70 miles per hour, but you can see this rain shield extends all the way up into southern South Carolina, and Debbie is going to be slowing down over the next couple of days, and the big concern with Debbie is the tremendous amount of rain that could fall through the low country of Georgia and South Carolina. Again, here is the 11 o'clock advisory winds of 70 miles per hour now moving north northeast at eight. It was a 10 miles per hour, so it is slowing down. It's just going to drift here across southern Georgia for a day or so. Maybe get back out over the open waters of the Atlantic before making a second landfall across South Carolina and beyond about Wednesday. Still a lot of questions whether it's going to take more of an inland track. The cone represents where the center of the storm could be, so it could be as far as the western mountains of North Carolina and Virginia, or it could be even across the outer banks of North Carolina. If it's more inland, it would be a weaker storm bringing a lot of heavy rain through the mountains of Virginia, North Carolina. If it's closer to the coastline, of course, the coastal areas will see some of the heaviest amount of rain. This is the five day forecast for rainfall amounts. You can see here over a foot of rain through the low country of Georgia and South Carolina and maybe even two feet of rain towards Charleston and that flood threat, a level four risk, the highest that we have through tomorrow morning down through Georgia and South Carolina and it just slowly moves Tuesday into Wednesday and Wednesday into Thursday through South Carolina and Southern North Carolina and even here in Hampton Roads as we get later into the week we could feel some of the effects with some heavy rain. Speaking of rain, there have been a few thunderstorms down towards the Pamlico Sound a little bit earlier, and there are a couple of little showers here south of Elizabeth City right now, and just a chance of an isolated shower as we go here through the remainder of the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 80s, but a lot more rain in that extended forecast, and I'll have it when I come back in about 15 minutes.